One of Augusta's oldest, oddest holidays has faded away. I speak of Fantastics Day, which used to be the way we celebrated the 4th of July. The only way I can explain it is sort of like trick-or-treat in midsummer. Beginning in the middle 1800s and continuing for about a century, Augusta's children used to put on oversized clothing, then take to the streets singing and playing on Independence Day. As best as anyone can figure, the pastime was inspired by older European folk customs. The Southern custom was sometimes called riding fantastic. In Augusta, its participants were simply called fantastics. Historians point out that other southern cities had Fantastics Days, but Augusta seems to be the only one that celebrated it in the middle of the summer. A story in the Augusta Chronicle on July 6, 1860 reported, the Fantastics turned out pretty strong and more ridiculously and grotesquely accoutred than last year. They were the observed of all the observers for a time and created shouts of laughter. Again, in 1887, the Chronicle reported, the Fantastics were on the street, the picnic parties ready, and all wore holiday attire. Accounts describe how children would chant at neighbors' houses, Fantastics, Fantastics, come to stay, give us some cake, and we'll go away. The subtle suggestion was that if they didn't get cake, mischief would follow. A July 5th, 1949 story commented, it was a far cry from the boisterous 4th of July of yonder years when fireworks and the cry of fantastics filled the air morn till night. This unique custom of wearing a false face and dressing in outlandish costume originated in Augusta. Then the custom wore off. The generation of World War I days, however, will remember when the 4th of July in Augusta was a real day. The Chronicle's famous editor, Lewis Harris, probably put it best in 1973 when he wrote that Fantastic's Day was a strange and lovely experience for the children of Augusta each 4th of July, but like so many colorful customs of the past, it probably is gone forever. It was a tradition we had for almost a century, something that made Augusta unique. You might even say fantastic. <laughs>